first thing that um, I, I am going to do is start toasting some almonds. I thought when I was putting together this recipe, and I'm always trying to come up with new different trifle recipes. And trifle, by the way, if you're not familiar with them, they are layered desserts. They're not truffles. Truffles are the little chocolate balls of wonderfulness. Um, but trifle, T-R-I-F-L-E, um, are basically layered desserts with, you, you know, you can, sky's the limit. I'm not always coming up with new different ones. But it's like cakes and puddings, in some cases fruits. And in my latest cookbook, this is one of the ones that I came up with. Um, it's just really bright and, and fun. So I'm putting some almonds um, in a dry skillet. I'm going to toast them up because I'm using some almond extract in the pudding mixture, which just tastes fantastic, I think. So I've just got, when it comes to toasting nuts, it's just real easy. I'm using the sliced almonds in a dry skillet, no butter in this case, and I'm just going to keep an eye on them, or Anne's going to keep an eye on them, and uh, just we're going to toast them up, uh, give them some great flavor, bring them back to life. And when you toast them, it just release the releases the oils and just um, makes them taste better, bottom line. Why I love trifles, um, they're a make-ahead. So if you're having company over, you can throw this together in the morning, even the day before, and then you know pull it out when after dinner and you know watch everybody ooh and ah. A lot of my trifles are no bake, and this happens to be one of them. Um, the base that I'm using is a pound cake, and this is something that I grew up with. My mom used to buy these all the time. It's just a frozen Sara Lee butter pound cake. You could certainly make your own if you want to do that. But all about, I'm all about keeping things nice and easy. And then I'm just going to cut it into cubes. And when I do this, I'm giving this to Anne. Anne's looking at me like, I don't want that. Um, I just basically do one to two inch cubes. And this is really easy to cut. You could also use angel food cake. I really like the richness of the, the pound cake in this, but some of my trifles, I do use angel food cake. So just cut this into small cubes. There we go. And they don't have to be perfect. No one's going to go around and measure them. Anne says she might. You would. <laughs> Can you tell we have fun on this show? Okay, how are the nuts doing? Beauty. Last time we toasted nuts, they got a little bit too toasted, and Okay, all right. Nuts are doing good. Now I'm going to get to work on the pudding mixture. And this recipe calls for two boxes, two of the small boxes of instant vanilla pudding. I like to use instant because it's quick and easy. And we're just talking about the little boxes. A lot of my trifles you can certainly lighten up and do like sugar-free pudding and light whipped topping. I really like the idea of using the strawberries and the peaches together. It's a nice combination. And then three cups of cold milk. And it's real important that the milk is cold. Now you can use a whisk and whisk it together until the pudding starts to thicken. Anne's got the mixer out, so we'll use the mixer today. And like I say, I'm, you know, there's so many different fun trifle uh, ideas that I've come up with and you can come up with too. I do a Reese's peanut butter cup trifle with brownies and um, pudding and Reese's peanut butter cups. I do a, um, during the holidays, I do a, I crush up candy canes and do a, a chocolate uh, peppermint trifle uh, for St. Patty's Day. I like to do an Andy's mint trifle. So there's just all sorts of different ones. For the 4th of July, I do what I call an all-American berry trifle where I use strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, and angel food cake. So there's lots of different fun things. My family loves to uh, vacation to Jamaica, so I uh, came up with a, I call it a Jamaica Me Crazy, kind of a tropical fruit trifle that's really good, using coconut pudding and tropical fruit. So I'm always coming up with new different ones, and they're just really fun, and the layers are just um, 
you'll see when it comes together. Just so, so pretty. So you can notice that the pudding is starting, uh, starting to thicken a, a little bit. So at this point, and you can lick the beaters if you want. Not quite as good as, you know, chocolate cake mix, but not too bad either. Okay. Nuts are all toasted and looking good. And they will continue to toast in the pan, so uh, that's a, a good thing to play it safe and kind of take them off the heat uh, and, you know, rather than keep them on the burner and they'll continue to toast up in there. Now, in goes my almond extract. I happen to love it. Uh, big fan. If you don't like it, you can, uh, you can leave it out. Not a big deal. Uh, but it's going to tie together with the almonds that we're putting on top. And a little dab will do you. So just about a teaspoon or so in with that vanilla pudding. It just makes it yummy. And now I've got one of the larger containers of frozen whipped topping. And I want to take about three quarters of it and put it in with the vanilla pudding. What this is going to do is turn that vanilla pudding mixture, it's going to taste like a, an almond mousse. And I'm serious, you can't believe when you just combine the pudding and the Cool Whip together, it takes it to a whole other level. And I'm just folding that. So that it stays nice and light and okay perfect now we're going to start layering so we took about four cups of fro uh, fresh or frozen strawberries the strawberries were great at the grocery store so we decided to use those uh, in season in the summer boy wonderful to use the fresh picked strawberries and fresh peaches uh, we use the frozen peaches just frozen peaches that we let thaw a little bit and time to start layering putting this together so I start with some cake cubes on the bottom of this is what is called a trifle bowl. It's a clear glass bowl on a pedestal. Uh, they're very, very inexpensive. You can get them just about anywhere. Um, and they, you know, because you'll be able to see the layers, it just, they look so cool. Uh, I do dips in these. I do salads in these. But I love doing these trifle desserts in these. And they also come in mini, like mini little trifle dishes. And they're so cute. So, um, you know, they're really fun. If you don't have one of these, just any kind of a clear glass bowl will work. Uh, you could also layer this and make individual desserts and wine glasses, martini glasses, parfait glasses. You get the idea. Okay, so now we're going to take some of the pudding mixture and just kind of get it in there. The one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to mix it together. You just kind of want to plop it on top. You want to be able to see these, these uh, wonderful separate layers. So then we're going to take some of the strawberries. And it just doesn't have to be perfect at all. And some of the peaches. If they're slightly frozen with the peaches, that's just fine. The one thing you want to do is make sure to leave some of the peaches and some of the strawberries so that you'll be able to garnish the top. This is wonderful for a ladies' luncheon or a shower. I've even done this served in just, uh, you know, little clear plastic cups if you have to serve a crowd so that everybody gets their own. You also don't want to, you know, pat it down too much. I really like the, the fluffy lightness of it. Not rocket science. It's going to look fantastic however you do this. One of the things I love to serve this with is like a nice uh, chicken casserole, like a chicken pot pie is wonderful. Uh, and maybe a salad, like the berry salad we're doing, keeping it kind of light and then bring this out for dessert at the end. And so easy, but you totally completely look like a rock star, which I love, if you didn't know that already. Okay. So we'll do one more layer with the cake. And we end with some of the almond cream, which we all really know what that was, on top. Oh, I was saving a little piece of cake for you, Ann, because I'm so sweet. 
All right, so we end with some of the almond cream on top. And then at this point, this needs to get covered loosely with plastic wrap and put it into the refrigerator. And it can sit in the refrigerator all day. You could certainly serve it right away if you'd like to, but I like the fact that it, um, the flavors really come together and the, um, the cake gets a little bit soft with the whipped cream and it, it's really yummy. Okay, so at this point it gets covered with plastic and into their fridge. And then, here's the secret, right before serving, you're also going to refrigerate it, this, this reserved whipped cream. Right before uh, serving, you take the plastic out, and here's where the magic really happens. You take the reserved whipped cream, and I call it a cloud. We're going to make a cloud of whipped cream, so no skimping. And I just kind of make it look a little, little pretty, just kind of put it around like that. And then I've got some of those almonds those toasted almonds, which is going to tie this all in together with the almond extract in there. You could also do amaretto if you wanted to make this a little more grown-up trifle. Some more of the sliced peaches, or you could even use whole strawberries at this point to kind of really make it pop. And then a, a fresh mint sprig. And there you go, it's my strawberry peach trifle. How gorgeous is that? Something fun to do with strawberries when they're in season. And it is so easy. I mean, come on, it doesn't get any easier than that. Recipes on the website. You can also pick it up at any area festival foods. And it's also one of the recipes in my latest cookbook.